as you guys can tell, this whole quarantining thing is not fun. Not fun at all. The apocalypse is here. I had to stock up on food. This is what my life has come to now. What's up guys? Zach Selesky, American football coach in Germany. And I think this is like day two or three of, of quarantine. I've already lost track. That's, that's how long it's been in my mind. As of Tuesday, actually late Monday, Tuesday, um, they have officially closed our gym and the only things that are open at least here in Paderborn um, are the pharmacies grocery stores and gas stations all the obviously all the uh, food or the restaurants are only takeout strictly takeout I'm not gonna lie it's it's kind of been hard so I've been doing a lot of I guess in in hotel workouts here, doing a lot of stuff here for that. Um, I don't know. It's it's if you ask a lot of us, a lot of uh, a lot of us Americans, this is completely uncharted territory for all of us. I mean, we're we're not used to this. Uh, like I said in my previous video, this is something that whenever you sign on the dotted line for whatever team you're about to go to, this is not. This is something that doesn't really cross your mind at all. So. I'm not gonna lie, it's been, it's been boring. So, for those of you guys who've been asking, what do you do during a quarantine? Um, this is not a full-fledged quarantine. This is not like France where in your home most of the day or you have a curfew, things like that. It's not like that. Um, as of a couple days ago, I didn't realize it, but Northwest Germany, this we are legitimately in the worst affected area. Uh, I think it's, I think as of a, a couple days ago, I think it was the 14th, um, there was something like over 1,100 cases of the virus that's already hit. People keep asking me, what have you been up to since we have essentially been confined to basically staying at home? In hotel workout. I think as, uh, this hotel does not have a gym. Uh, just been doing a lot of, I guess, body workouts. Um, been doing that. Uh, the second thing is, I've been doing a lot of, uh, I guess you could say game planning, because in my, my mind we're just, since everything else is essentially cancelled, as of right now, uh, just trying to game plan a little bit, trying to get a, a mind, kind of get a, trying to get a good idea about what we will be facing, uh, as if we were coming out of this weird situation, so, um, as of right now, our first game of the season is still on, so my mind is kind of strictly focused on that. Uh, because of that, that's kind of where I'm at with it. Number three, kind of sucks because none of the other Americans are here. I'm literally here by myself. So the best thing I've kind of been doing, I've been talking to the Americans, texting them, texting Zach and, and Craig and seeing what they're up to. Uh, can't really get exposed to those guys. And then talking to family. Um, as of right now, some of the issues that are going on, going on back home. The I know Ohio is starting to get kind of affected in some areas. I know Cincinnati is, is kind of being bad right now. Cleveland is kind of a bad spot too. But just trying to keep up with, with what's been going on. They they are essentially in the same boat as we are. Uh, a couple of the questions I keep getting during this time as well is essentially what's going on around you that's affecting you and your team right now or maybe just Europe in general. Um, so this is essentially supposed to be my first season as head coach and basically the beginning of our season is almost being threatened. So it's kind of a, it's a, it's a weird, it's a weird thing to be, to kind of be into. It's. It's kind of weird to be a part of. As of right now, um, I don't know if you guys have kind of kept up with European American football, but right now 
essentially all of the major leagues are are either postponed. Um, there's only one complete cancellation of the 2020 season, and that's in Switzerland as of a couple days ago. And then, <clears throat> as of right now, uh, I think it was yesterday, Germany has postponed any sort of decision on the beginning of the season until April 20th. So essentially, we're gonna be chilling here until April. Actually, the one surprising thing today I did find out is that the Paderborn basketball team uh, they were actually in the middle of, pl of a playoff run right now. They actually were just sent home today. The, the Americans were just sent home, which is kind of hard to think think about. Um, that's a big deal because they, even though their season was completely canceled, uh, they were right in the middle of a playoff run. They were pushing for, for promotion. So that's kind of a, a bad situation to be in. Um, I feel bad for those guys. That's They were on a hot streak and they were really getting hot at the right time stuff like that uh makes you think because a lot of it's reciprocated from the soccer team to the basketball team and then us towards the bottom on that one usually the chain of command on that as of right now my first season as head coach is going incredibly well as always make sure you guys keep up with the latest stuff and as always guys if you haven't yet like and subscribe and for the meantime, I'm going to be here for quite a few weeks <laughs> until, until the German uh, American Football Board decides to do something else. So stay safe, everybody.